Hello traders, FX Pipcolette here. Today is Thursday, April 20th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, let me tell you about my new Forex trading course available to all gold Patreon members. The link for that can be found up here in the corner. So, on the US dollar yen, I still believe this is the end of a wave C right here. I think this is going to still end up continuing the downtrend, probably making lower lows and lower highs. That definitely does not mean that we will not get some pullbacks on the sort of time frames, but I still think that the trend will continue down, like I said, making the lower lows and lower highs. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly we can definitely see that this is a series of lower highs, looks like a wave 1. I think this move up could already be a wave 2. That means that this move up right here could be a crutzen to just this move down. I still am looking at that as possibly being a crutzen and most likely ending up continuing the downtrend. So let's take it down even further to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, you can now start to see the downtrend over here, which is really like an 11 wave downtrend. I definitely do see what I think is possibly an ABC up, probably an ABC of two. And this move down to me looks very impulsive, which is why I still believe that this move up could be a crescent to this move down. So I'm definitely still looking at this as possibly being a crescent. So if I see a big impulsive engulfing candle, then I will definitely take that as a sort of opportunity for the continuation of the downtrend trend. So taking it down even further to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame so far we have what kind of looks like an A, B, C, D, E. So and if this really is our cuts and then we need to see a nice big impulsive move down taking out structure. If we don't see that then I will not go short and I'll just continue to look for longs because right now the trend is definitely technically up. So I definitely am not going to be going short until I see any breaks of structure. But if I do see that that's definitely going to be a good sorting opportunity for the continuation of the downtrend. So let's take it down even further to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, what I see here is three waves down and an impulsive up. It may be like a wave five, but like I said, uh, when you see three waves down, impulsive up, three waves down, usually that means that the trend is up and that it could very easily just keep on going up. And there's definitely no reason to think this move up is yet over yet. I'm not going to believe this move is over until it goes down and takes out that low. If it does not go down and take out that low, then I will just continue to look for longs, especially on these sort of time frames. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.